Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you how to make this logo. Check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. So Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This will work fine in PE 10 also. We just went to File and New and Blank File. I'm just going to change the background contents from white to transparent and then select OK. Let's move this thing over here. Alright, now I'm going to go to the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. Just about the same place in PE 10. Just change it to the custom shape tool. Click on that little down arrow in whatever shape you have showing. And you can see, look at all the shapes. I'm going to go down here and select shapes. If you select shapes, you'll have a lot less. And scroll down to the bottom. This is what we want. The half circle. Now I'm going to go to the color swatch here. And uh, I want a really dark gray for what I'm doing. That looks okay. All right. Now, I'm going to draw. Look how good I am. Oh, no. That's... Oh, that's... No, I'm terrible. If you hold the shift key down, Photoshop Elements will let you draw that, a shape that's proportionate to the way it should be. I just selected the move tool. I'm just moving this uh, half circle down. And uh, I'm going to right click on this layer and select duplicate layer. And we'll call the duplicate layer top. Alright. And now I'm going to right click on uh, this layer and select rename layer. And I'm going to call it bottom. Oh, I'm so smart. Alright. Now I'm dragging the duplicate layer up. And let's turn it around so we'll have a full circle. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Oh, no. Oh, um, uh, yeah, that's great. I stink. That's the wrong way to do it, guys. Let me show you the easy way, okay? I just hit undo, and uh, now we're going to go up to File, New, and Blank File. I just select OK. Now I'm just going to left-click, hold, and drag this uh, image over. And uh, now I'm going to select Image, Rotate, and Flip Vertical. Boom! That's how simple it is. Uh, now I'm going to here. I'm going to change the color. Uh, I'm going to pick like a uh, light gray. Yeah, that, no, yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to grab the paint bucket tool, left click and release. And now the move tool, and I'm going to move it over to what we've been working on. Okay, now we can get rid of this other top that's facing the wrong way. I'm just going to left click, hold and drag it to the trash can. PE10, your trash can is below. Now I'm going to go ahead and you know, Photoshop Elements just snapped it into place. That's great. All right. Now we're going to select the gradient tool. And um, what you can do is click on edit. PE10, your edit button will be on top. So this is the gradient editor. This is called a color stop. I'm going to double click on this color stop. And now what I can do is move my mouse over to the image and the color dropper automatically comes and I clicked on it. Now look, this color stop is gray. Now I'm going to double click on this one, but this time I want like a, a gray that's a little lighter. So I'm just going to pick it myself. Okay, you can see I've got a light gray to a dark gray. That's what I want. All right, let's draw now and we'll select the top layer and left click, hold and drag and... Oh no, what does it say? This shape layer must be simplified before proceeding. It will no longer have a vector mask. Oh no, what's a vector mask? Oh, what do I do? I'll click OK. Vector mask, vector mask. All right, let's left click, hold and drag and... Ah, what the heck? Why do I listen to Info Puppet? I just hit the undo button. All right, we're gonna grab the magnetic lasso tool, and now I'm just gonna left click and release. And now I'm just gonna left click and release again. Now this is fast motion, I'm left clicking and releasing. And stay inside the circle, very important. All right. 
and uh, when the little circle appears, it'll close your selection. Okay, you can also watch that video for the uh, magnetic lasso tool. It's a tutorial. Now, left clicking, holding, and dragging, and... Boom! Looks great! I love it! Now, you see there's a little gap in between the two circles. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the bottom above the top, or the top above the bottom. I'm confused now. And I moved it up, so that's gone. But look at the edge of the top of the gray. It's still kind of messy. Well, we're going to fix that. I just grabbed the cookie cutter tool. And now, if you don't have a circle already selected, you want to look for a solid circle like that. What the cookie cutter tool is going to do is going to do like a crop in the shape of a circle. Wait! Could not use the cookie cutter tool because no layers are selected. Okay, so I'm going to select... I'm going to hold my shift key down and actually select both layers and then right click and then select merge layers. Alright, now I'm going to left click, hold and drag. Don't worry about making this perfect. You can release and now you can move it around and actually resize it after you've drawn your circle. Now I just want to show you something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this up and you can still see the part of the top of the gray that we don't want. So I'm bringing it back down. Looks pretty good. I'm going to click the green check mark. Look at that! It's perfectly circular and it looks great! Alright, now look at this is the image we're going to use now for the text. Now, we're going to go to image resize and image size. And it's important that you understand if you're going to try to put text on an image, you've got to make your image like only about 3 inches at the most. You probably won't get text to get to be about 8 inches. So I'm going to click on the text tool and then I'm going to select the horizontal mask, the type horizontal mask. Okay, okay now wait a minute, look, before I do this let me hit no. And look, look down here. Some of you might get confused because you can only go to 72 points. Well you can actually click in here and change it to whatever size you want up to 1200 points. But I'm just going to go with 145 probably can get a little bit further than 1200. All right, so now I'm going to click in here again. I'm at 145 points, and I'm going to just type I for info and P for puppet. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to click on the green check mark. And now I'm going to just left click, hold, and drag the IP over to the circle. All right. Now, it's kind of large, so I'm going to use fast forward here, or fast motion. I'm going to resize this really fast. And there we go. We're going to get the IP to fit inside the circle. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some style on this thing. So let's go to layer, layer style, and style settings. And now I just click on drop shadow. Can you see the drop shadow? Let's move the distance out so you can see it a little better. Now I'm going to turn the opacity down to like 40, now 35. Make it a little bit softer. And that looks pretty good, so I just clicked on OK. Now I'm going to select the, the circle layer. And we're going to go ahead and put a style on that. So layer, layer style, style settings. And I'm going to put a bevel on that. You can adjust the bevel here with the slider here. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to put a glow. I think it's going to be an outer glow. Now see how the color is yellow? I don't want yellow. I want kind of a color that's in my logo. So I'm going to go ahead and take my eyedropper and select this blue here. Alright? So now let's go back here. You can see that little blue color is now in the side right there after PX, P, PX or Pixel. And there, can you see the glow? That's it! That is the new Info Puppet logo. You can make your own logo with a nice shiny circle in the background and, and a couple of letters. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet!